So here we're going to go a little bit deeper into the design parameters that control the human component or the human geom. Now here in the anthropomorphic tab, you're going to control the overall structure of the body that you're about to model. So you can set up your length unit, mass units, as we discussed before, change from male to female, and you can adjust your stature, a percent stature based on statistical models, change the body mass index, change the mass itself, you can change the age. So if you decrease the age and go down to an adult of age 18, or you can take it up to age 80, and notice how the posture changes. And you can adjust the ratio of the torso to the legs. Now, bear in mind here that as I'm adjusting things like body mass index and sliding this stuff around, the mass and the volume are all being calculated because of this mesh. Under the general tab, notice that right now the density is about 62 and a half. If we come in here and start changing the BMI or the mass, the density has changed and been automatically calculated for you. So when you run something like mass properties on this body, it's going to pull the correct values for you. So this component is exceptionally powerful and clever that it uses all of these parameters to keep things representative as you're moving things around and adjusting this body. Now those are just some of the anthropomorphic settings that you can change. In another video, we'll cover all of the different pose settings that can change how this person sits and is positioned inside your space.